Welcome back to another clay video. Today, we're going to create Gigantamax Gengar from Pokemon. I was really excited to start creating this one because Gigantamax Gengar is one of my favorite designs of Gigantamax Pokemon, but I gotta say that Snorlax is my all-time favorite. This is the base we're gonna be using. I've made this sort of darkish brown purple color on the top. It looks sort of weird, but I think once Gengar gets on there, it looks a lot better. This is some very old hard clay that I had, and I softened it enough so that I could get it into a ball, but it's very hard to work with. So it's going to work great for the filling, and then we don't have to waste too much of our nice soft purple clay. This is the basic shape of it, so we can coat it with the purple. I always thought Gigantamax Gengar looked a lot like something you see at a fun house, at a carnival or a fair. I've seen stuff like this before where you walk through this giant scary mouth as an entrance. And that's just always what I thought of when I saw this Pokemon. In the center of the mouth we have this red. And after we get that into place we can create the mouth pattern. This is, I suppose, like the ridges that we have in the roofs of our mouth. It looks a little bit strange, but I think that it adds a lot of awesome detail into the figure. Let's take some more of this red to create the bottom of the mouth. And before I forget to mention it, make sure you join in on the Gigantamax Pokemon poll. You can help decide which Gigantamax I will be creating next. You can find a link to this in the description of this video. After the inner part of the mouth is done, we can create the bottom lip, I guess. And let's move on to creating the eyes. I'm using this ball tool to indent where the eyes are going to be. And let's fill that in with some yellow. On top of that, we have some red and white. Now the eyes are complete, so let's start working on the teeth. Gengar has some pretty huge, shiny white teeth. But they're completely flat and not pointed at all, so that makes it a lot easier to create. Taking some balls of purple clay, we can start creating the spikes, which go all over the body of Gengar. These are the two main spikes, which sort of look like ears, I'm not sure if that's what they are though. And we have a couple more on the front. And moving on to the back, I couldn't really find any pictures that showed the back of Gengar, so I'm just making up my own design here. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And I think this design looks pretty cool. This is going to be the tail, it just sort of comes poking out of the ground. And that's what the hands do as well. And that's what we're going to create right now. Like I always say, I try to avoid hands at all costs, but sometimes you just have to create hands. And these ones luckily weren't really too difficult to create, especially because there's only three fingers. Let's place those coming right out of the ground. And let's take this bright red clay to create the ton. This looks like a pretty nice ton, so let's stick it into the mouth. And I want to have a nice little curve at the end of it. I think that looks pretty cool. It makes the figure come alive a bit more. Now we will create the Dynamax clouds. You can see three of these around every single Dynamax or Gigantamax Pokemon. And we can use some wires to make these floating in the air above Gengar's head. But for now, Gengar is ready to get baked. After baking, we can use a thumbtack to create the holes for where the wires will go. And I used this red paint marker to actually color the wires red, and I think this helps it blend in a bit better. Now we have the clouds for the final detail. And here it is, Gigantamax Gengar from Pokemon.
I hope you all enjoyed the creation of Gigantamax Gengar. Make sure to join in the poll to help decide which Gigantamax Pokemon I will be creating next. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.